welcome to a diaper bag restocking video. This is my diaper bag I carry around with my four month old. Um, this bag is what I use just for him. I do have another diaper bag that I stock for both my kids. Um, so this one's kind of like the grab and go if I'm just uh, with my baby bag. So yeah, this is gonna be me restocking my diaper bag, showing you what I put in it. I keep this bag stocked regularly so um about every week i will go in here see what's in here restock what i need and uh hopefully this helps you thank you so much for watching like and follow for more video and content okay so starting with the outside pocket i keep um toilet seat covers in the diaper bag because not everywhere you go has toilet seat covers and I like to keep them on hand. Uh, one pack has 10 sheets so um, especially when I'm riding around with my six-year-old and she always has to freaking pee anywhere we go. I keep these with me. For example, if you're at McDonald's, you know you have to stop at a gas station. Most of the time those places do not have toilet seat covers so keeping some in hand is the best um they do come in cute little colors and prints i do have those as well but these are the basic ones the basic ones are cheaper everything i'm going to talk about today is going to be listed down below um it's going to be my commission link so if you would like to buy it you can if not you don't have to you can just search it up yourself um but moving on to the other pocket So this is where I keep the diaper bags. There's also a uh, zipper here. I use the Philips Advent bottles and those barely, I mean barely fit in this bag. Um, the Tommy Tippy bottles do not fit in this bag. So if you want this bag, do not buy Tommy Tippy bottles because it will not fit. Um, this portion of the bag is insulated. So what I do is I put an ice pack in here whenever I'm out and about. And um, it keeps the bottles cold for a really long time. Okay, some other things about this bag. I keep hand sanitizer. Again, when you have kids, grubby hands. You don't want that. I keep a pack of wipes here. There is a wipe slit here. So you can just open it, take out a wipe, and go. And that's what I really appreciate about this bag. What I also like about this bag is it has clips here. Uh, what I put here are my keys. So whenever I'm walking around, I can put my um, my keys here and they're always within reach. I don't have to look for them, um, especially for safety issues. Um, so it's really nice that way. Okay, so inside the bag, um, the bag itself stretches out pretty big. And again, I have been using this bag, so I need to take out what's in here and restock it. So I have a onesie. Um, this one was used already. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like my baby, so he, he already wore it. Um, I keep jogging pants in here, socks, burp cloth, um, extra outfits. But again, I'm going to restock. And I'll show you guys what I'm restocking with right now. So after a week of just being out and about, this is what I have. Okay, so let me show you guys what I grab. Okay, so the first thing I do is I always go to diapers first. Sometimes they're the most easy to forget. So just um, make sure you're really responsible and have and know how many diapers you always have. Uh, so right now I only have two diapers and some diaper cream. Uh, so those need to be restocked. So I will do that now. Uh, this bag holds about 10 diapers. So here's two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so you see 10 diapers, you, you can smash them in real, real small, and then I, you, I put them in the side pocket. Sometimes you gotta finagle your way through, but see, 10 diapers. I keep the diaper cream with the diapers, because again, it's easy to grab, you know where there is, diaper cream wipes all within reach um here is where i keep personal things for me so lately i've been keeping some cough drops um because the season's changing so obviously um cough drops are the best uh, my my son is 
uh, supplementing so he does get breastfed and formula fed but uh, what I like is now formula is making these uh, ready use to go bottles and I keep one in my bag because just in case you ever run out uh, maybe my supply is low at that moment you always have a formula on hand so he's not starving um, all right that's thrown at the bottom because again um, that's just a extra it's not something I use every day but something that I do keep on hand I also keep one of these these are kind of um, I forget what they're called but you can uh, put fruit or whatever you're eating in here so that your baby can eat it too so for example if I'm out and I'm eating a salad I could put you know some strawberries in here maybe a bit of lettuce so you can have the taste of it and then you can just close it up lock it boom what I like about it is it comes with the cover so when I bring it home I can wash it really easily uh, that gets thrown in there okay so I brought a couple of options that you can put in your bag uh, to keep on hand um, so I am in Chicago and it's February so it is cold um, it can go anywhere between uh, negative 10 degrees and um, and up <laughs> honestly a uh, Chicago is very finicky with the weather so I have to keep everything on hand that I would use to either keep them warm or to take off the layers and keep them cool um, so firstly again I have this nine month thermal situation it's really nice and it is um, on the thin side but again it is a thermal so it will keep everything cool um, it opens up right here and it's just easy to change his diaper, for example, for out and about. Um, when it is, let's say, negative 10 degrees, I do not take the baby out unless it's something like he has a doctor's appointment that he has to go to. Um, but if you ever need to just get up and go, at least I have that option already packed for him. And this goes in the bag. I'm showing you how I fold it so that I can save space. So I'm putting that to the side shaking shaking okay so going back to the topic of layering i keep a jumpsuit in here <laughs> soup i keep a jumpsuit in here with a onesie to go underneath just in case he gets hot i can always take it off uh so let's fold that up and i fold everything together so it's easier to just rip it out the bag if i need it right away and i always keep a pajama Let's say you're at a relative's house and it's starting to get real late. You can take your baby, put their pajama on, and then right when they get home, just put them right to sleep. Um, that's probably my biggest tip. And again, I always pack a new onesie that goes underneath the pajama every time. Uh, just in case they ever pee through their, pajama, um, their diaper or anything, it's easy to just switch out. Um, and again, pajama. A thinner pajama this time, but not as thick. Uh, so let's say if I just want to throw them in the car seat, it's the end of the party. It's easy to just do that. Uh, another thing I keep in the bag is a burp cloth. You never know when they're going to spit up. Um, extra blankets and extra bibs. Again, my baby's at the point where he is eating now. So um, bibs are always going to be welcomed. Extra blankets in case they spit up anything, burp cloths, anything like that. Alrighty, so I'm going to pack that in the bag and show you how it looks. Alright, so here is how it is organized. Pajamas here, extra outfits in the bottom, uh, thermal is here, blanket, bibs, and burp cloth is here. All visible and organized. Um, another big tip I can give you guys is always pack larger. So right now my son is uh, three to six months. And everything in here is six to nine months just in case I don't have the time to restock this everything i know that's in here will fit him because it is larger and he will be more comfortable that way so if he's throwing a fit it's not tight clothes necessarily so he will have room to breathe um but that is my diaper bag video thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe for more content i will be making another diaper bag video for my larger bag that i pack for my baby and my six-year-old bye mm -hmm.